Joining us now is Hillsborough County, Florida School Superintendent Mary Ellen Elia. Ms. Elia, good morning. Good morning. How did police and your district work together to catch this suspect before this potentially catastrophic event? Well, we have a strong and for years have had a strong partnership with our Tampa Police Department, our Sheriff's Department, and all of the police uh, entities in this uh, very large community. And uh, that's exactly how that happened. We're very vigilant all the time. Uh, we, have, uh, we have school resource officers in every one of our schools. And uh, it's a major focus here because we all know that parents and, and uh, children uh, have to know that they can trust that there's security and safety in our schools. Can you even think about what could have happened here if this suspect hadn't been caught? Like you mentioned, your school district in Freedom High School is one of the largest in the area. Well, I, I think we all have uh, lived through the terrible situation that we faced in other schools, uh, particularly Columbine and, Cor and Colorado. And I think uh, we know that uh, that's something that we have to work very hard to make sure doesn't happen in any other community in this, in this country. Can you tell and me so exactly, we, exactly how you got the tip, though, here? How, how, did you, how were you able to thwart this? Well, um, we, we work hard to make sure that uh, everyone understands the responsibility that they have to um, give us information if they feel that there is something that's happening in their community with someone that they know. And that's exactly how this happened. Uh, there was an informant who um, was aware of the situation, and uh, they um, were responsible enough to tell the police and TPD, and the, t the police department took immediate action. And I think that's an imp important thing. You can't sit back and hope that it's not um, something that's credible. You have to work on it and be very decisive to know that, above all, we have to be safe for our children and we have to make sure that we follow up on every lead that we have like that. Yeah, now schools open up on Tuesday. In light of this, what additional safety precautions are you going to take? I know on the, the, the first day of school you'll have an extra police presence, but as you move forward, what do you plan on doing? Well, again, I think we have to instill that responsibility for of all people, all students and all parents um, and our teachers to be watching for the kinds of characteristics that they might see in someone who uh, is planning something like this. And I, I have to say, uh, this has been something that has been part of our culture for a long time. And um, despite the, the cuts in funds across the country and despite all these things that are happening, I think you still have to be vigilant to make sure that our children are safe. Superintendent Mary Ellen Elia, thank you very much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it.